And many of us take the ability to do what I'm doing right now, speaking to you for granted because of injury or surgery or some type of health condition can make this simple act impossible. Well, in today's Health Castle, Local 10's Christy Kruger has a story of a South Florida woman who's finding ways to raise her voice in the midst of her own medical struggle. La, 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 la. Monique Williams can watch her children play, but she can't cheer them on. After a surgery to remove thyroid cancer last summer, she suffered bilateral vocal cord paralysis, the inability to use her own voice. I was angry. But when someone has thyroid surgery, unfortunately the nerve that controls movement of the vocal cord runs right by that gland. So this type of surgery or surgery of the esophagus, which is also very close to those nerves, can sometimes cause injury that's either temporary or permanent to these nerves. Monique now relies on technology as well as friends like Jackie Wilcox to communicate. It is very frustrating. It's been very challenging for her, especially with her kids, because she can't sing lullabies to them, she can't read st bedtime stories to them, she can't teach them new words, for example, help with homework. Monique is now on disability because she lost her job as a preschool teacher for the Head Start program. But she is planning to learn sign language and hopefully teach hearing impaired children. She's also continuing her community outreach efforts on social media. It's hard not to speak, but I want to bring awareness to other moms. The condition also left Monique with difficulty swallowing as well as breathing, so she is also facing surgery to open up their airway. For links to learn more about Monique's journey, look for this story in the health section of local10.com. With your HealthCast today, I'm Christy Krueger.